Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. Welcome to today's video. What would happen if I told you that there's this new drug just right out of the oven, ex incredible drug that actually can deal with the prevention of cancer, can actually make you have and lose weight. It won't have any secondary effects, by the way. It would help you with digestion. It would help you with improvement of immunity. It would even help you with brain function and nerve connectivity. And this is a drug that is very cheap to find. You can find anywhere. This would be lemon or lemon juice or lemons in general. But it's not. But you know what the problem is? That most of us don't really look at it that way. We look at it as something that is that we see every day and we don't pay too much attention to. So let's go ahead and look into lemon today. Let's look and see what the, the health benefits of lemon, if you take it every day, would be and what the scientific research is telling us about lemons. Now, when they tell you, for example, that it is not scientifically proven, I always ask my patients or, or people who tell me that, what is scientifically proven to you? Do we have to prove it with one research paper, maybe 10 research papers, a million research papers? Who is to say when it is actually scientifically proven? Nowadays, the reality of this is that we have, I th I'd say like hundreds of, maybe, no, maybe hundreds of studies about lemon in every aspect in the human body, but we still say that it is not scientifically proven. So let's look at the evidence today. Let's look at what lemons can do. And when I talk about lemon, it can be any lemon. It can be white, it can be a uh, yellow lemon, it can be green lemon, it doesn't matter. As long as you take it every day, maybe with water, in the morning, before you eat your foods, or after eating a meal. So what do lemons do for your body? Number one, well, <clears throat> a lot of people today are looking to stay healthy. A lot of people today are looking to not age as quickly, and they have lemons in their fridge, and they, they don't use it. We don't use lemons as much. We may not even like to prepare lemon juice. We want to buy that synthetic lemon that we can buy at the supermarket. Do not buy that piece of junk. Don't buy synthetic lemon juice. That is not lemon. That is not lemon water at all. You want the real lemons when you take lemon water, all right? Well, first thing, first things first, this study, for example, an antioxidant potential of lemon, potential of lemon, and when it talks about the antioxidant potential, we can talk about the fruit, we can talk about the juice, we can talk about the peel, we can talk even about the, the seed of lemons, and it has been well established by now that <clears throat> using lemons as an antioxidant and a free scavenger nutritional source is very effective. So if you want to take lemons every day, if you don't want to get old as quickly, go ahead and take some lemon water every morning before going, going to breakfast or even after lunch to help with digestion and help your body reduce the fat content within your, within your system. And it's been well studied. I'll just read this very quick line. This study elucidates the effect of different methods of oil extraction from lemon seed oil and highlights the potential application of what? food in food, cosmetic, pharmaceutical, and even fragrance industries. Believe it or not, lemons are used all around and sometimes we don't really appreciate that much how much lemons can do for our body. If you need something natural that can help you combat oxidation with the best, the best natural ingredients to do this in nature, look for Antioxy Pro from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com and, and also Look for CurQ Health or D enzymes, which are enzymes that will help you digest your food just like lemons do with the acid forming inside your stomach. Number two, <clears throat> a lot of people have problems with their circulation. Well, guess what? Lemons are the most alkalinic substances, or lemon juice is the most alkalinic substances that you can drink and have every day that is for common access in the world. It's actually acidic, but it changes to an alkaline state when you when you digest it, when you metabolic when you, when you when it goes through that metabolic process, and it helps you reduce high blood pressure. It helps you reduce the oxidation levels you have in your body, and also helps you increase circulatory function. This is another study you can go and check out later if you want. <clears throat> the actual effect of blood pressure and daily lemon ingestion and walking 
obviously. If you want to improve high blood pressure, if you want to improve your circulation, you have to walk. You have to take something that is alkaline, maybe fruits and vegetables that will also, alongside lemon, decrease the acidic state of your body that increases high blood pressure. Let me answer this question. Don't forget that we are live. If you have any questions, leave your comments down below and I will answer them as we go along. Thomas Magalu is asking, does lemon include 100% juice uh, bought in a bottle? No. If you look at the lemon juice you're buying in bottled form or you're, it's pre-made, if you're buying it in a supermarket and you read the ingredients, you will see that it has maybe ingredients that are not naturally sourced. It's not pure lemon juice. They will never give you pure lemon juice. If it says pure lemon juice, and then you say in, you see in the, in the back part of the label that it's not actually, that's deceivement. They are deceiving you. And the truth and reality is that all, everything that is synthetic and acidic is not good for you at all. So try to stay away from that citric acid or lemon juice that they're selling you. That obviously is not gonna help you, but it's gonna harm you a whole lot more than you think. All right, look at this chart that I found here. There was one study, now we're talking about cancer prevention. There was one study looking at a 100% growth of cells, cancer cells, in a Petri dish, all right? And what they did was add fruit extracts to this cancer, uh, to this cancer growing in Petri dishes. And they found out the lemon was the most effective fruit among these fruits, to reduce the cell pro proliferation of cancer in a lab. Look at this right here. This is an awesome chart. I love this chart. Look at how lemons really affect the growth of, uh, of cancer cells. Well, it has a cancer prevention effect. If you do not take something, at least for cancer prevention, which you might have already if you're eating a good dietary, um, dietary, uh, good dietary, uh, let's say rainbow of fruits and vegetables at home. <clears throat> well, you can include lemons. This is another study you can check out later. It's the anti-cancer potential of citrus fruits and their extracts, talking about just that that I showed you. All right, conclusions. The study discusses a review of strongly corroborate, corroborate the role of citrus fruits and its derivatives as potential resources against cancer. Yes, it is true. It is an anti-cancer fruit, one of the most powerful out there. There are some very more than that. If you want something natural to help out with oxidation, again, check out Antioxy Pro down here. I love this supplement, I take it every day. So much energy. Antioxy Pro and Neuromatrix or Metathyroid from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com. Let me check out this other question and we'll keep going. Um, number, Billy T is asking, can we consume it with gastritis? This is a great question. Look, there are several types of gastro, different types of gastritis, right? Some of them are for the excess of acids being produced in your body, maybe because of stress, maybe because you have a digestive issue with what you are eating every day. And there's, another, there's other types of gastritis when there's a lack of acids. Now, if there is a lack of acids, you can actually take lemon juice. Lemon juice will help you digest your food because if you're lacking acid and then you're eating something that has an acidic content, well, obviously you're gonna aid in that digestion and the digestion is getting much easier and you're gonna see gastritis go away. I've seen lots of people tell me that they actually take lemon juice for gastritis and it actually heals them. When they don't take it, it comes back. Why? Because there's a lack of acid in their stomach. Number three, <clears throat> number four, <clears throat> Citrus fruit is a very important uh, component of an anti-inflammatory source and a pro-immune source in your body. We all know this, right? We know that lemons contain a very good amount of vitamin C. They do, this is true, we all know this. But not just that, the thing about lemons is that they're, they're, the vitamin C content and the acidic content is a an anti-inflammatory substance that can really help you decrease inflammation in your body, but at the same time improve that immune function. You don't believe me? Let's read just a little bit about it. Citrus fruit juices are particularly good at source of vitamin C and folate. I forgot about that, that is true. Which both have roles in sustaining the integrity of immunological barriers 
and in supporting the function of many types of immune cells, including phagocytes, the ones that eat dead organisms that your natural killer cells have killed, again, natural killer cells, T cells and B cells, immune function, and vitamin C is an antioxidant that reduces the aspects of many anti-inflammatory response mechanisms, and this is true also, including, for example, <clears throat> hesperidin, naturin, naringerin, these are the substances inside the citrus fruits that you are taking every day. So if you want something good for immune function, why not take lemon water every day? If you're gonna buy vitamin C anyways, why not take lemon water every day? It's not only gonna help out with oxidation when you take something like an antioxidant form of vitamin C, but also make you improve many other aspects with fat metabolism, improved digestion, more of a connectivity within your brain because it has an acidic and alkaline substance that helps modulate this in your brain. It has many other functions. Uh, what a name. Coca-Cola is asking, is Lyme good for you? Well, yes, of course it is. <clears throat> Very good. That there are several types of lemons and limes, but in general, they are all uh, effective with health benefits. Kathleen Wedlake is asking, can lemon juice reduce cholesterol levels? Excellent question. Real quickly, if you need a good vitamin C source that has more than uh, 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C and other ingredients, natural ingredients like acerola extract, bioflavonoids, and many other like liposomal vitamin C, etc. Look for Ultra C1000 from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com. And something, for example, for your vascular care, va vascular care, vascu care and vein flow from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com. All right, so going back to the question, there is a very important factor of a lipid reducing factor of limonin, which is a substance in lemons, that can actually alleviate non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So if you have, for example, a problem with fat, you are in an obese state, maybe you are overweight, maybe you have even a fatty liver, why not take lemon water? Lemon water can help. You don't believe me? All right, let's go and look at this real quickly, all right? Lemon and suppressed microphages infiltration and down-regulated the expression levels of pro-inflammatory L6 inflammation. L1B, L1 alpha, and secreted macrophages. I have it right here. Um, <clears throat> it reversed re the reduction of glutathione, okay? Meaning it increases glutathione level. It doesn't increase glutathione levels, but actually reduces the reduction. It's just a second negative, if you want, in one sentence, which is the opposite. And in conclusion, this study revealed that lemonin has a protective, protective effect of uh, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease due to resistance in lipid depositation, meaning it can actually reduce lipid accumulation within the liver. Maybe not, even, maybe not reduce cholesterol in the blood, but actually reduce the collection of fat within the liver and your body actually containing fat. I have this, this question here. Let me check out this question. <clears throat> if you need something natural that can help you with your liver, a liver cleanse or detox, look for a thistle essence from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com. You have Purify You for your kidneys and then On Cardio for Circulation, Heart Excel, if you want to help your body reduce high blood pressure. Heart Excel from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com. Let me check it out. All right. Catherine334 is asking, can lemon help detox the liver from the effects of alcohol consumption? It can. It can because it reduces the accumulation of fat which is caused by alcohol also, right? It can't, why not? Another question, real quickly. Aboud Saed is asking, can we take lemon water on an empty stomach? No problem, if you don't have a gastritis, there's no problem at all, you can take it, no problem at all. And last question, let me check this out. <clears throat> okay, Hannah is asking, if you drink lemon water every day, would it stop being effective after a while? Not really. Not really because it has, it's not like something that can accumulate in your body. Now, you don't want to take so much of it that you're going to have an ulcer in your stomach, right? Everything that has to do with natural medicine has to be well balanced. Not too much or not too little. That way you can take advantage of the benefits it has, but do not obviously go into everything that is a counter effect or a problem within uh, the consumption of excessive acids, in this case, lemon juice, all right? Last but not least, and I've been talking about this from the beginning, lemons can also, or lemon water can also help your brain connect 
and help those signals within your brain. Remember, it needs a good pH balance in order to function. It can actually help your brain function more clearly if you are in an acidic state, okay? If you're eating too much, too much breads, carbohydrates, sugars, too much of an acidic state with meats, if you eat lemons, it helps your brain and your nerves function more properly because you are having a more alkaline state. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Check out the videos in this channel. If you have any questions, leave your comments down below, and I'll be happy to assist you. If you need a supplement, take a, take a look at finelandvitamins.com. Very good formulas, effective, something that can help you out for basically anything that you might have. Check out these other videos. Don't forget to give that like button and share it with someone that might be needing it. I'll see you tomorrow in the next video.